Hi, Dave. Let me give you a quick introduction to the uh, Radiant system. I'm going to walk down in the basement and then take you into the boiler room. All right, here we go. All right, so this is the basement. This whole floor area is heated. It's primary only source of heat down here in the basement is from the Radiant system. Now, this is a... Uh, Fairly expensive uh, digital um, non-contact thermometer. And you can see as I move around the floor, the temperature varies based on the proximity of the tubes to the surface. Uh, it's pretty consistent, mid-70s. Then you'll see here's an area where I did not run tubes. 64, 63, 62 then the landing by the door gets down to the 50s. Granted, it's very cold out today. But I, the warmest spot is typically over here somewhere. Eh, about 77 or so. Anyway, let's go into the boiler room. And you can see here, this is a two-year-old model of the A.O. Smith Vertex GPE 50 GPHE 50 I believe and it's looks like a traditional hot water heater but in fact it is a hybrid the controls for the burner are down here and then on the side here you've got two plugs here it says hot outlet and down here it says cold return so these two pipes are what supply the hot water to my radiant mixing block, the Taco RMB-1. This is a two-pump uh, built-in controller uh, system. It has a uh, air removal device on top and it actually blends the temperatures based on the program to exactly what temperature you need for heating the floor. This is a stainless steel manifold. This has four zones. Uh, you may need a three or a four. It doesn't really matter. And then you can see the tubes going down through the floor into the concrete and away. Uh, I've got a couple of other things on here. This is a expansion tank. Probably not a bad idea. Uh, this happens to be an air separator, not necessary, because this is an air separator. But that's the system. Now, just for what it's worth, the exhaust up above has a muffler built into it. There's a little bit of noise because it is an electric motor which blows the water vapor and gases outside. And then there are several connection points for condensation. There's one on the muffler. There's two coming from behind where the exhaust pump is. The purpose for those tubes is to collect the condensate, which is common in a high efficiency system. I've got a mess. They just all kind of dump down here on top of the ejection pit and away they go. Most people that I install these for actually buy a $40 condensate pump, which is very easy to set up and handle. Anyway, that's an introduction to my Radian heat system.